We're pumped. We're ready to go. Let's make some money. We got bills to pay, and if we don't find anything, we might as well go home. I know the gold's there, but it's on me to get it out of the ground and on the scales. We're going for it. We are going to Alaska and setting up a new operation over there. This is where we separate the men from the boys. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's mine some gold. Fred, good morning. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. Jeff in Las Vegas. Thank you for joining me today to talk about Gold Rush Season 13. No problem. I'm a little bit jealous. I'm definitely not in Vegas. Oh, well, we can arrange that at the end of the interview. I'll, I'll make arrangements. You can come visit us. <laughs> I need it. Oh, I'm just saying, if anyone needs a vacation, it's you guys up there, man. You guys do some backbreaking work, and uh, I'm a big fan of the show. And uh, what changes do we have coming this season, Fred? Oh, man, you know, I would say this season's been one of the most epic seasons for us as far as battles go. It's been a real tough season, so um, a lot of new things come into our team and a lot of new phases in our development as a company, so it's uh, it's been a fight. And the spike in gas prices, how has it affected your search for gold? You know, the, the the prices of gas and fuel up here keep fluctuating pretty pretty heavily, and it does change a lot for as far as our freedom goes, as much as we can move. So we're, we're being a little safe. Um, we're not trying to take a lot of risks, and the fuel bill keeps adding up. And you're expanding your search this season out here beyond the Klondike? You know, I'm always looking for other opportunities right now. I'm focused on the mindset that I'm at, but uh, I definitely always pay attention to other opportunities. And what kind of competition are you facing this season? I mean, I must be fierce up there. You know, I would say the biggest competition we have is ourselves up here. We live pretty austere. We live really far from everybody else. The environment up here on top of the world where we live is crazy. And Mother Nature had a real fun time last winter preparing everything for this year. So it's, it's, it's Mother Nature. That's our, really our biggest competition. Now, Fred, when I think of gold mining, I'm a big Western fan. I think of the treasure of the Sierra Madre. I think of an old bearded miner, you know, with a, a mule and a pack and a big pickaxe. So what would happen or what would you recommend to someone who wants to search for gold like you do? I mean, it's it's pretty different now, isn't it? Yeah, it is a bit different, but, you know, there is still a time and place where you can go out with a pickaxe and a pan and find gold. I'd say don't set limits and don't set standards. You just find out where the gold is and go and go pull it out of the ground. I mean, really, it's all based on your tenacity and how bad you really want to find gold. Um, we're still battling this, this challenge to become a gold mining team as a group of veterans, but we're getting closer and closer every day to, to feeling confident about where we're moving. And um, it's all because we took a chance. It's, you know, it's all because we took a big risk and went for it. So that, that's my advice. Go for it. I was going to say gold has really risen in value, especially during the pandemic. So it's a great investment, isn't it? Yeah, it's one of those things, you know, gold is so steady. It's it's going to go up and down, the, whatever is happening in the world. And right now it's down a little bit, but it's still up. So, you know, I feel like it's one of the most steady things that we could go for as far as trying to find a way to pull money out of the ground. Um, and and it's it's going to go up. I mean, things are changing in the world and gold seems to be that thing that we're leaning on. So it's a pretty good bet. And what about fan interaction? Are you good on social media? Do you love to talk to your fans? <laughs> you know, I do love talking to my fans. I actually try and respond to every single person that writes to me, especially veterans. I won't ignore a veteran. Um, I got a lot of haters, though, not going to lie. So I have to be careful who I'm talking to out there. For some reason, the you know, my company is called The Misfits, and I guess I'm a misfit because uh Got a lot of haters out there, but it's one of those things where if they're paying attention, it's great. So, you know, for me, I try to interact as much as I possibly can, try and set things straight for some people, you know, <laughs> defend myself a little bit. You don't get fans saying, hey, I'm heading up to the Klondike. Will you meet me up there and teach me how to pan for gold? <laughs> oh, yeah, every day. Oh, really? Every day. One of those things where um, I'd love for people to come up here. We have I have an open door policy for veterans to come up and visit to come and check out the operation to see if it's something they want to do. We've had a few take the bait and come up and then they get here and they're like, whoa, <laughs> this is a lot harder than it looks. Oh, no, and, um, Alaska's the last frontier also. So it's not, uh, it's pretty rough up there, isn't it? 
Oh yeah, so we live in Canada. We're about 30 miles from the border of Alaska right. and there's nothing up here. So there's no, once you're here, you're here. <laughs> <laughs> well, Fred, congratulations on season 13. And uh, I think you're just last of the one great adventurers. And uh, I appreciate your time today and uh, come visit us in Las Vegas soon, man. I'll set you up, okay? You need a break. <laughs> Oh, yeah. As soon as snow pushes me out of here, I'm going to come to Vegas and visit. Wonderful. Thanks and so much. And good luck with season 13 on the Discovery Channel of Gold Rush. Thank you. Thank you very much.